All right, we're back with another Money Origami Originals. And what we've got is the tray top. It's pretty cool. I saw it in the paper and folded it up. Uh, these all started by playing around with these little ridge folds. As I just showed, let's see how to make one. And it just, you know, it occurred to me it's for pulling the paper together. But you can also make it stand up. And so you, you make your ridge. And then you fold the corner to align with the edge of the ridge. Then you tuck it in and close your ridge back. And then you fold the ridge to either side and fold down the edge, see? And now you've got this super strong pinch. And so I just kept playing with that, and that's how I came up with that. Uh, tray now the dollar one from the videos at work and i had another one and i changed it into something else on one end and we're going to use that in another video but today we've got the tray cover because you know maybe you don't want your gift to be so obvious and it fits dollar coins and half dollars or a necklace all kinds of cool stuff can be put in this little tray here and then you've got the dust cover or the top now I know the raw edges stick up and those aren't the most pretty little thing but uh, it's real nice on the inside and look at these corners I mean this is not the best fold job but look at how they just come together so that's the goal of the video. Uh, be back in just one moment with a dollar. So we've got the tray top or the tray cover. Is what I guess I'm calling it. It's a long, narrow, shallow box. Now the side you want on the inside. We'll start with that side up. And so just... Fold in half. Don't crease it all the way because we don't want to have a crease going down the middle here. But you can uh, pinch on the ends uh, liberally. So it doesn't have to be just a tiny little pinch. You can make these boxes different sizes, but with the dollar. If you make the sides much taller, it gets it gets narrow really fast. So I like this size that we're making it. So now you fold in. Hang on, I gotta reposition the camera just a little bit. Alright, I needed a little more working room. So now you're just gonna fold up each side to the center marks. And now the key to getting this one is really getting all the folds the same distance in length so we want the other one folded into the center and you really want it to be even here So, uh, I hope that is. And on this channel, you know, we're we're not gonna get to it. things like editing the videos and you know that that takes all the time and the fun out of it and everything. Unless it was some big giant huge channel, then 
you know, then I could have somebody do that, you know, or, you know, if it was, uh, it really doesn't have to ever get that big, but if it, if it really did make some money and I could do it, uh, with a lot more time involved somehow, compensation, then, uh, and maybe I would edit them, but, shh, yeah. It's only got 151 subscribers. So, oh well. Yeah, these are pretty cool origami. I don't think I've ever seen a little corner like this. And it sits together real good, see. And it's not the super tightest thing on the ends, but it's pretty cool and it's hidden behind there. So, that looks pretty good. Now what we've got to do is get the same amount folded on these sides. So, uh, you know, there's a few ways to do it. And we kind of do need a crease from here to there anyway. Later. So you can, you can go like this and line it up. And just crease down to that turned horizontal fold. And that gives you a marker where to fold in half. But I don't know if it's really the greatest way to do it. So uh, we'll try. A different way on each end <laughs> so what you should do though after you watch the video is choose the way and then make both sides uh, the same way so with this method you can bring up that and maybe it is a good way because then you can line up these corners and fold this over. And then just open it up. Make sure it's lined up really well. So it's it's pretty hard to uh, get this all precision. So these this should be the same height as that. Looks like it's a tiny bit shorter, doesn't it? But, might be an illusion. Alright, so on the other end, the other way you can do it is you can fold the corner over all the way into the line. And you can even do it on both sides. So I don't know, has anybody seen little uh, corners the way they are on this? Maybe, maybe it's a common corner and it's just hidden by the uh, flap folding down. So I don't know, you know, to me I made it up. And I, you know, looked at a lot of origami out there and I didn't see anything like it before. So those folds aren't really needed later, I suppose. So maybe they are, I mean, we'll see. Because I only really folded the one. And well, you know, I told you I was playing with the ridge folds. And then, uh, then I wanted to connect them. And so I just practiced on a little piece of paper and got them together and made the corner. And then I did a few more and did all four corners. And then 
I made the old uh, tray top. So it's pretty cool. I like it because uh, it's not so obvious what's in the box then, right? So now this was the inside and you've got all the uh, first folds. So now we've got to fold them all back to their fold there. So just go around and do all four. And just open them up. And then you can do the next one like that. All right, I'm going to do that off cam. But get these nice and lined up and try to get all the folds as straight as you can. So I've got mine to this point so far. Okay. And now I'm unfolding those. Just enough to play with the other fold. And those those take some time. That's why I did it on cam. It just you know that long skinny fold is extra difficult with the dollar. Now you can make these out of paper if you want it to be real strong and look nice on both sides. If you only have single sided color, then uh, just fold the paper in half and use the whole sheet. Alright, so I've got that end. And now this end. So I was watching, yeah, they had Bond on. I watched a couple Bond movies. And got in the mood for some origami. All right. So now we've got all those. Let me uh, practice a couple times. Make sure I show you exactly how to do the quarter because it's pretty tricky. One moment. So, yeah. I don't know if people like their... Uh, names announced but somebody left me a message reminding me that it's really about relaxing and folding something cool and uh you know good instructions since you haven't made it help you to relax and fold the model so you don't get frustrated so anyway if you fold it over the uh corners to make that fold you know like that before let's let's bring those up and make the diagonal i guess that was the side I already had it so you want to just bring the two sides up and make your nice point on the other side so that's that's the way to do it is to make the big diagonal fold for the measurement because then you don't have to go back and do this part on the other end on the, all four corners so all right so we've got them all where they're pinchable up into a corner so now turn over and undo that and fold in the side and then push this down this way and you get a little point right here now lay while that angle is there see how it's a it's an angle going up. The end is unfolded. So then it lays down flat like that. And just leave that and get the other side just the same. We're just using half of this fold. 
So right there in the middle, this line still comes up first. See, and now, when we push this down, that allows this to go over. Right. Right there. So, okay, we still got another end if you didn't quite get it. Who knows? You know, even on really popular origami, there's not a whole lot of comments. Unless, you know, you're extremely popular. So now, with these sides in, we fold these over. Don't let any of the... I need to move the cam just a little bit. All right, I added some more light to... I don't know, this doesn't really look like it's recording it. It's the best view. I changed boards a few videos ago, and I might have to switch back. But I'm going to get something that's really black. I think that'll help. So you just, you have it like this. And then you fold these in. Just don't let any of the paper get bound in the corner there. See, so right there at the edge, the raw edge. And so you have to freehand that. Well, you can put it down, I guess. And you fold those in. And then these little corners right here are going to be the lock. So fold it from this point to that point diagonal. Let's see where that is taken apart. <laughs> That's pretty hard to do without pre-folding it like this first. So, and you don't want any overlap. All right, just like that. And I can unfold that just halfway or something. Most of it, I guess. And then the other side I'm folding in. Trying to get it nice and even before I it and so now this corner folds up that way to make a point oh and by the way I'll put the tray up in the card if you didn't see the uh, video on the tray part so this is the cover but it's also a tray if you want all right so I've got my two points and then the other end's exactly the same. Now you fold this right in between the points. Well, <laughs> it's just hard when you're working with the tiny edges. Maybe that one's a little bit too tight against that gap there. All right, and then you you let these unfold, and you fold it down, and now get it all lined up how you want it. That's that's pretty good. And then I was using a pen cap, but. Now you just write that little pocket there. You tuck the uh, corner in there. And you can you can open it up a little bit. I'm gonna have to bend that over a little bit better.
and tucks right up in there. Give it a good pinch once you got it. Get the other one. And if you can do it without opening the pocket and stuff, you know, good job. And I can, but, you know, these videos, they really are pretty long. And, you know, I just think they're a little bit too long. Oh, and then I was also asked, you know, what do I use to keep my hands from drying out? And I guess, you know, maybe washing right after you're done gets those fibers off your hand. I think more of it just... Sucks the oil away the longer it sits on your skin. So I wash after I'm done usually. So that's that's tucked in there pretty nice. And then the other end and we're done. So just fold up the side. The side has priority over the end. So right there. And see we're just using half the crease. Squishing this in see. And it starts sticking out. And then you go to the other side. Make sure that's going up. The point is coming toward you. And then you fold it in. And then these lay over. Preset those corners. Fold the points over. I'm in the uh, little shape over. And you can you can fold this down and size it first if you want. And then it gives you a little bit better idea where the triangle fold ends because you can't have it totally smashed against the other fold. So go up to the point good. And let it be a little gap here. So just like that one. That's a good example. There's two layers there. If you're seeing a little extra piece there. All right. So I'm going to pre bend these over just a tiny bit. Like that. And then open them up, fold the side back over, and tuck them on in. Alright, so uh, I'm going to do a preview of, uh, you know, I hope to make it the next video. But, yeah, I don't want to say for sure that it's it, but I'm going to get the model and show you. It's pretty cool. So I've, I've wanted to make something like this for a long time, this next one. This one, I just I really think the cover is a nice accessory for the box. And then it can crease down the sides more. And, all right, so I hope you like that. Let me get the preview. So, I haven't worked it all out yet, but it's like a drawer. And the 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 end isn't going to make it collapse when you pull. Because we're going to use the tray. And that one has a real sturdy 
into it and I've modified it to, and that's going to be the drawer and it stays in there and I'm going to try to adjust it where it fits in there just a little bit more so that should be pretty cool and it slides in and out all right so that's the uh model for today i hope you enjoyed it hope yours turned out great hope you made the tray too i really like that a lot and that's why uh making a top for it was in order all right thanks for watching take care have a great day we'll see you on the next one bye bye